Hi, Lisa Martin with theCUBE on the ground at Google for the sixth annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud Awards event. We're very excited to be here and now to be joined by the, the founder of CloudNow, Jocelyn DeGance. Graham, welcome back to theCUBE. Lisa, we are so happy to have you and theCUBE back for the second year. So our sixth annual event and the second year that you've been broadcasting. We're just really delighted to have your team be able to shine a, shine a spotlight on the incredible accomplishments of these women in tech. It's always so inspiring, Jocelyn, I was telling you before we went live that I love reading about the people that you're honoring, but you yourself have been awarded a number of times, so you're quite the, the woman, woman in technology as well. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit about <laughs> cloud now um, and what you guys have done. Yeah. Two really big announcements this yeah. year. Tell us about that. So the big things we've really been working on for 2017 are the scholarships, Lisa. And I have to say, of all of the professional things this year, I really am the most heartened by the work in the scholarships it is what is most important to me and so we started by identifying two exceptional academic partners. Um, you know we had looked at a number of um, you know we had, we had read the research we've been looking at how do you how do you most make impact and have more women join tech, join technical ranks, right? And, and so there's been a lot of debate and a lot of research about that. And what we have found is that it's very important for women to have a role model in an organization, it does not necessarily even have to be a mentor, needs to be a role model. Um, the other piece of the equation is with um, women, is, um, is the ambition gap, right? So it's not just about getting tons of women in the pipeline, it's also about getting women that really want to take it the whole way. So this kind of combination factor of um, that next generation of leader that's really going to be able to get to that upper echelon of office. So the academic partners that we selected, we feel like they really have done a great job identifying those future leaders and for us to be able to place our investments in uh, with them and uh, to gather corporate partnerships that are willing to be able to fund that next generation of leaders. So um, we have exceptional partners, we have exceptional academic institutions, and if I can, I'd love to tell you just uh, a little bit about the academic partners yeah, that absolutely. we selected. Please do. Yeah, so the first one is Holberton School, and Holberton is in San Francisco. Uh, they have a really unique model. They don't charge students um, any kind of tuition up front. What they do is once the student has gotten their first full-time job, then they start paying back what they would have paid in tuition. And so it's a remarkably equitable kind of format for education. It's it very different than the rest of what most people are seeing for colleges and universities. The problem is how expensive it is to live in San Francisco. Right. So the scholarships are actually a living wage stipend because the school is too intensive for the students to actually be able to work. It's a very compact program. Instead of four years, the students are done in two. So that's our first academic partner, and the students are getting jobs at fantastic companies like LinkedIn and NASA, and they're actually out-competing MIT and Stanford grads for those jobs. That's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. So we are more than happy to um, suggest to our corporate funders that they put their money on those bets. Excellent. So we've got Google and we've got Accenture that are funding those Holberton scholarships. And then the second academic partner is in Bangalore, India, and it's Shanti Bhavan. And you might have seen this with the Netflix documentary, Daughters of Destiny. It was incredible. Absolutely incredible and absolutely moving. And so the Shanti Bhavan School, for your viewers that are unfamiliar with it, um, they take children from the poorest of the poor background in rural India. They commit to educating these children from the age of four all the way through the university level. And so the scholarships we put together with the help of Intel and Apsara and CB Technologies are to fund girls studying STEM at the university level in Bangalore. And this is just the beginning, Lisa. We really hope that in 2018, we can increase the number of scholarships, and we really hope that we'll be able to increase the number of corporate partnerships as well, because these students are doing phenomenal things, and we really believe that they're going to be taking their place alongside any of what the Ivy League graduates would be doing. I love that. And in our last minute, talk to us about about Google and Google's involvement with you, because that's pretty remarkable what you've yeah. been able to achieve for CloudNow with Google. The, thank you. The Google involvement has definitely been an involving partnership, and the funding from Google actually happened um, 
It, ha it, it, it was a happy circumstance that I ran into Vint Cerf at a party and got introduced to him. I gave him just a quick 30-second overview of what CloudNow had been doing, and he handed me his business card and said, it real, sounds really interesting, send me an email. Wow, from the, one of the fathers of the internet, that's pretty amazing. I couldn't believe how accessible or easygoing he was, but I went ahead and I emailed him, and I said, what I'm looking for um, is is some money for a scholarship fund. I'm not asking you for it. I just know if you were to endorse this, it would be very easily, uh, the money would very easily be found. So I went to sleep, da -da -da -da, woke up the very next morning, there was a response from Vint and he had sent me the money. And we were oh done, the fund was closed, we were on our way. Wow. And what he said in response, it was so beautiful, Lisa. He said, one does what one can to be of service. And it just, that whole, that message has, I've been really holding it with me for the last several months. One does what one can to be of service um, because I think it's just a very inspiring message, especially as we all go into 2018 and think about what we're grateful for. Um, and I hope that there are people in your audience that feel like they can do what they can and will join us in, in this very, um, I say this, in this very heartfelt mission. Wow. You are so inspiring, Jocelyn, with what you and your partners have created with CloudNow. We thank you so much for, for asking us to be here our second year with theCUBE, and it's just, it's a great event to cover, and, but be proud of what you've accomplished, because you, it's Lisa. incredible. Thank you for all of your support. It really means a lot to me. Ah, excellent. We want to thank you for watching theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin on the ground at Google for the sixth annual CloudNow Top Women in Cloud event. Thanks for watching.